Yeah, we actually checked out a small group, and um, they Thanks. were just pretty full already, and they pretty much said that now is probably not a time to add new people. So we were put on a waiting list, which was really hard because Johnny had been at the church for a while, and um, I had not been since we had just gotten married, and so I didn't know a lot of people. So a small group would have been a great way to get to know people right off the bat, and good thing there was good preaching, and Johnny had some good friends, or maybe we wouldn't have stayed. There was not room in the inn for us in small groups. I think after going through five times, I think we're believers. Uh, uh, we started off in the uh, Bixby. Bixby group. We were the rogue group. We met on Thursday nights. I remember that. And uh, then we broke off and, or we multiplied and became partners with the Adam and Jen Congdon. And then we went with Josh and Lindsay Figler when we multiplied again. And then when we multiplied again, we went with Sean and Kristen Hinckley. And now we are multiplying for the fifth time or something like that and going with Nate Wegman and Sarah Sousa. Agreed. Well, I don't like it because I don't get to see the friends that I've made as often, you know, especially being in such a big church. You don't get to see them as often anymore. So that's the downside. But the good side is you make new friends and you get to meet more people. So then you even know more people that are at Northridge. Oftentimes, when your group gets too big, you people just aren't able to participate because it's just becoming more difficult to get for them to get a word in and the discussion and so forth. But when you start to get a smaller group, you really see people start to really open up. Like I said before, I mean, we just get to meet new people that are coming to Northridge, and they may have been coming there for a while, or they may have just started, and they get to get plugged into a small group when we do multiply. Uh, one perfect example of people stepping up to getting, becoming a bigger part of the group is Sean and Kristen Hinckley, the people that were, we were partners with previously that honestly never would have thought they would be small group leaders. But, you know, through their growth and through their time they spent to, in the group, we eventually saw them as being really good leaders, and now they've been tremendous, and now they're going to lead a group on their own. When you do it, start off early talking about multiplication. You know, that's one thing that we did this time in our, our group that really helped a lot. We talked at the beginning, you know, our goal is to grow our group and eventually multiply. And uh, when, when it came time to do it, this was probably the easiest one we've ever had. Most of the times we've had people write down maybe one or two couples that they'd like to remain with, not giving any promises. And then anyone who doesn't care, we just put them where we think they would grow the best or do the best maybe location wise. Definitely still keep in touch. Hard to see them as often, but um, I think initially after a multiplication, it is good to get the two groups together. You know, a couple times afterwards, it just makes you, I don't know, feel not so far away from the people you miss. Uh, when we start, <laughs> when we start a new trimester, we often always try to have, a, you know, an opening night party and, and welcome our new people in there. And that, I think that really helps a lot to get the new people involved as well when you multiply. It's, it's really not that bad. I, I think that's the big thing that you have to remember. They, you know, the short-term pain is worth the long-term gain for sure. And I can't remember the rest. Wait. <laughs> Am I supposed to look at you at a camera? So, after we got married, we wanted... To oh, it. I did it again. This is terrible. No, it's great. Can you awesome. say, say bye-bye, guys? Say bye-bye, guys.